So we are looking at the Lytra light. Uh, this is a Lytra torch actually, 2.0. And then we've got the Lytra light as well, which is the old school one. I'll leave a link in the description down below if you wanna go check that video out before you check this one out. So this is the older version and I've talked in very good depth about it. Um, but you, basically it's the same sort of thing, but just slightly a little bit more different. Anyway, we'll stick you to the side. So basically this is like an upgraded version. So this has got 90 plus CRI on it. Yeah, also works with mobile phones, obviously cam, not camcorders, like DSLR cameras. Well, I suppose it work with camcorders as well. And anything that's professional with photography and stuff, that's what it's got you covered. So yeah, photography, video, and smartphone. In the box, this is what you get in the box. And uh, obviously the packaging looks nice as well. You've got the light in there and all that sort of stuff. Oh yeah, this is waterproof as well, so you can go deep sea. Can you go deep sea diving? I can't remember how far you can go with it. I know you can go pretty far with it. We'll have a look. Oh, there you go. No, you can't go deep sea diving, but you can go, it goes to 20 meters. That's pretty deep, 20 meters. Anyway, it's got 57,000 Kelvin light. Uh, I think this one's a little bit different. It might be 56,000 or 65,000. And then you've got flicker free light. And I did do some uh, demonstrations anyway in the pitch black where I live in the countryside. And I swear to God, like the lights are pretty good. I've done this version and that version. So you'll be able to check that out in the video as well. Um, what the hell is, no hotspots. I only got hotspots in my damn eyes. That's all I got. I didn't get hotspots in the videos or anything like that. So what it means to get good coverage over the subject or whatever product or whatever you're doing, it works like that. Luminums, 800 brightness. It felt a lot more brighter than that, I tell you. Anyway, so this is the light itself. So this is the new version. This is the older version. This has got like a see-through clearer uh, plastic over the top. And this one's got like a plastic over the top as well, but it just looks like it's been brought forward. Eight bulbs in, the, in, the, in these, uh, eight um, LEDs. And this one's got a lot more, so 16 bulbs. Um, on the top, the button is more raised as well. Uh, this one's more flat, flatter. So when you turn this on, obviously it's got a green light. When it's about to die, it's got a red light. Exactly the same for that. Lytra uh, logos on the background. It's still very rugged with the metal chassis out of body. Um, on the back, you still fit a mini USB on the back here. So no uh, type C. It's also got one quarter inch thread on both of them. So that's exactly the same. Uh, it's also got a one quarter inch thread at the bottom as well. So on the back and at the bottom, and obviously where you put the USB in, nothing on none of the sides. Uh, they're still both magnetic as well, so that's no good. It's quite solid as well. And they come with the same accessories as the other one. So you've got a belt clip, so that's no problem whatsoever. Then you've got a diffuser that goes on the front there. And then you've got the one quarter inch thread as well. Uh, great quality. It's got a plastic version there as well. And then you get this shoe. Um, you get a GoPro um, one quarter inch thread wheel. And then you get a shoehorn as well that goes onto your camera and stuff. So you basically screw it down like that way. And then obviously you tighten it up with the wheel at the top. And then you've got one that tightens to the bottom of the shoe. Uh, or you can have it, whoa, going straight up like that. It's up to you. And then you've got this little cable, which is a mini USB or micro USB, USB 2. And then you've got these little magnetic with uh, 3M adhesive on the bottom where it says Lytra there and then you've got one in black that says Lytra so it's got adhesive at the back as well and uh, that shows you it's magnetic yeah so we're going to do some tests uh, in the daytime uh, right now because I've already done uh, the test in the night time so I had to wait until it was really pitch black and then go into the, my where I live and that and obviously uh, test out both of them but from my point of view i think the lytra one the first one it's got slightly more more white to it than what this has but when you look at this this has got more better coverage so when it's more perfect to the skin tones when i was putting this over my face and, and over products it just looks better than what this did but this one looks more whiter and cleaner it's up to you your own preferences so I'm gonna turn off these lights here now and then just give you a quick demonstration in the daytime. 
So the ISO is at 800 and the video setup of the way it was with all the lights on. So these lights are like 65 Kelvin then. And I think that one there is uh, 63 Kelvin and something like that. Anyway, let's go. So I'm holding it just at arm's length for half an arm's length. So up to down. Left to right. That's on the first setting. Second setting, same distance. Up or down. High setting. SOS. And then I'll turn this off. So that is um, the old Lytra one. Now I'm going to show you with the diffuser, but I'll show you the diffuser afterwards. I'm going to just show you with the Lytra two, same distance, up or down. Second level. And also, when I'm showing you towards the end of the video, you will notice that I'll show you how much coverage you get as well. So this is the highest setting. SOS. Now, because you get the diffuser in Lytra 1, I'm just going to show you with that on top. So, same scenario. So, this is obviously step one. Or stage one of lighting. Stage two of brightness. Stage three. And SOS. Hmm. Right, so this is Lytra 2. So this is the first setting. Second setting. Third setting. SOS. And the thing is, with these, the Lytra light, when fully charged, it only takes about, um, i say about half hour to charge. And it lasts for about 20 minutes on full power. Then obviously an hour on medium. And on the third setting, which is the lowest, well, the lowest setting, it lasts for about an hour and, a, hour and 20 minutes, hour and 15 minutes. So that's not too bad. This one, it's got the same sort of thing. Also, this runs really hot as well. So when you've got the light real, real, real high, it's got, <laughs> it does run really hot. This was not too bad. It runs warm, but not as hot as that one. Bit more of a better improvement with this one. And I did mix the colors together. So I did mix both the lights together to give it a different kind of uh, perspective. And it works really well. So if you've got Lytra 1, you can get the Lytra 2 and you can mix them together and get the perfect lighting as long as you set the white balance up on your camera. So now I'm gonna show you what it looks like in the dark and then you should be like, wow, this is pretty cool because yeah, they are pretty good. Lytra light, I've had the first one for probably about a year and a bit. Now this one is only just come out not that long ago, probably about a month ago. 
and I've been using this. This is really, really freaking cool. Um, it's nice to have little lights. So basically, what would I do with electrolyte? I need a big panel light in. Well, the coverage is good. So the distance that you move away from, it still pulls in nice light. It doesn't have any hot spots and it has perfect coverage and there's no like um, vignetting or nothing like that. It just looks good. Um, yeah, I definitely recommend those lights, especially if you want to use them for outside uh, photography or video, just something as a filler light or anything like that. At least it comes with most of that stuff. Um, anyway, let's check this video out of me in the dark. Right, so this is the arm. Oh, this way. This is the arm length, and this is the Lytra one on level one. So side to side, up and down, level two, up and down, level three. And that one's got more of a crispy white to it. Now we're going to use the Lytra 2. And this has got a diffuser on it. So left to right, up and down. Next level. Level 3. Now I'm going to take the diffuser off. Level 1. Level 2. Level three. Oh, that is bright. So I'm going to put the diffuser on and then the other light so you can see me. So obviously the Lytra 2 has got more. Actually, I'll take this off. So the Lytra 2 has got, I think, if I do it to number one, let's do it to number one. Right, so the Lytra 2 has got more of a yellow crispy uh, Kelvin and the Lytra um, 1 has got more of a more crispier, brighter, whiter light. But when you turn them up and in increase them, they do look kind of similar. So this is at full uh, volume or full uh, power and this is... Is that a Fox? Better not be a Fox. <laughs> So this one is at full vo uh, power. I mean, this is the Lytra 2, and this is the Lytra 3, uh, Lytra 1, at full power. So it's definitely more crispy or white than obviously the Lytra 2. But you make your decision for what you think. I'll turn it down to the first one. It's a bit better. Lytra 1. On the first level. Lytra 2. Lytra 1. So if you like this video, comment down below, subscribe, share, like, follow me on all social media platforms. I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. And also I'll leave the links in the description down below if you want to purchase these lights. And uh, yeah, I'll see you next one. Thanks for watching. We'll join out.